Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. We're hitting part three. This is the final part for Country Joe and the Fish. We're doing an album reaction here. Uh, the album is Electric Music for the Mind and Body from 1967. It's a psychedelic rock album. Really enjoying it though. Having a lot of fun with it. Um, we are picking up on song eight. It's pretty short. It's only a couple minutes long. And uh, yeah, the, it's called Love. So we're, I just want to dive right into it. Hopefully you join me for part one and part two. The links for those are in the description here. Or each each part has the links to the other two parts in them. So any part you want to get to, you can get to in any other part uh, that, that you listen to. Hopefully you, you join me for part one and part two. Let's finish this album up. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, now, deep in my heart, baby, I know that you care. Deep in my heart, baby, the feeling is there. Knows I got something. When I can't fly, I got something that you ought to try. I got love. Love, I said, love, sweet love. I got love, baby. Yeah. Well, I can tell by your smile what you want to do. See in your eyes, you got the feeling too. Come on, baby. It's time to move. Cause I've got something that's a stone crew. I got love. Okay, that was love. Um, interesting about that is it's the only song that uh, Joe McDonald doesn't have a solo writing credit for. He wrote everything else by himself, but for this, the writing credits are him, the uh, guitarist Lee, uh, Barry Melton, David Cohen, who is the a rhythm guitar, who's also a rhythm guitar, and also is on the organ. And I think that organ was in that song for sure. Um, yeah, it definitely was. It actually says track eight, which is this track. Anyway, um, Bruce Barthol, who's on the bass. John Francis Gunning, who I don't see. He's not a member of the band. I don't know who he is. And then Gary Hirsch. If you know who John Francis Gunning is, let me know. Um, Gary Hirsch is on the drums. Chicken Hirsch. And uh, they all got writing credits for this, which is kind of interesting because it's only a two-minute song. So that's kind of weird that they, it, there was five or six of them writing one song, and it only turned out to be two minutes long. All right, let's continue. The next one is called Bass Strings. It's about five minutes long. May I may or may not pause during it. We'll see how it goes.
slow very melodic um did want to mention the organ uh and the keys kind of have taken a little bit more of a of a role on in the last couple of songs especially this one uh for sure it's the main thing in here and i did also want to mention the guitar in general just throughout the entire album there hasn't been a crazy long guitar solo but the guitars have been excellent they, they pop in and i mean they're really good even if it's just for a few seconds but for whatever, you know, whenever they, whenever you hear the guitar in this, it's never just kind of, you know, uh, an, an instrument where, you know, a time where you just kind of forget about it, or it's just kind of in a supporting role. It really, really takes like uh, center stage every time I hear the guitar drop in. All right, let's keep going. I believe I'll go out to the seashore. The waves wash my mind Open up my head now Just to see what I can find Yes, you know The guitar again, like I was saying. Mm. 
Okay, I really, really like the, the guitars at the end of that song. Really, really cool. Uh, whispering the LSD there. We'll just leave that alone. Um, the next song is called The Masked Marauder. We're not going to pause there. It's only three minutes long. The Masked Marauder. Here we go. <clears throat> The best time to get a Reese's? Anytime. I'd also accept all the time. Got a lot of ads. In this, this Rise and shine! <laughs> ah, no! The sun! Just kidding. Okay, that was the Mass Marauder. Interesting. Uh, there's a harmonica uh, in there. I always enjoy the harmonica. I know what it is about it. It's one of my favorite instruments, so I, I always love when uh, you hear some harmonica in a song. The last song is a seven-minute song, so we might have to get in there a little bit and... Um... Sorry, I gotta check something. Um, we might have to get in there and uh, pause it in the middle of it because it is seven minutes long. It's the last song on the album. It's called Grace, and it is for Grace Slick, the um, from Jefferson Airplane. Yes, the yeah, the lead singer from Jefferson Airplane is Grace Slick, and that's what the song is about. That's why it's called Grace. Let's just dive right into it. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. This song is is captivating me. I don't know what it is about it. Something is grabbing me, but I am definitely enjoying it, and it is definitely unique. I'm trying to pay attention to the lyrics too. Spend the 
is Country Joe and the Fish. That was part three of the album reaction for electric music for the mind and body. Um, that song, Grace, about Grace Slick. Very interesting. I don't know what it is. Something captivated me about that. Something like entranced me with that. I got to listen to that again uh, when I'm not reacting, maybe even lay down and just really get into that. Um, that was the kind of song it was. Also, got to say that was the same kind of thing was for uh, bass strings. That was the, also the same kind of a sound for me, a song, a song that you got to really kind of just just let it come over you and just take it in, in you know, because it's kind of a slower pace. But both interesting songs. I enjoy this album as a whole. I will say, Death Sound Blues is still my favorite of the whole album. Definitely gonna listen to that again. Definitely gonna download that. Really, really enjoyed that one. But I enjoy the album as a whole. I, I, I like Country Joe and the Fish. So I'm, I'm glad I did this. I want to thank Sam once again for the donation and the su suggestion. One last time, if you'd like to donate information for Venmo and PayPal, it's in the description below. It's also at the end of this video. Or you can hit thanks on YouTube. That's another way you could donate. And if you donate, I'll react to whatever you want me to. Um, songs, I guess albums are now on, on the table. Uh, I've been doing albums more and more often. But that's fine. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I definitely did. Hopefully you join me for part one and part two. If not, the links for part one and part two are also in the, descri in the description. So check that out. There's a lot of stuff in the, des in the description. My previous Country Joe and the Fish reactions are also in there. Anyway, that's enough for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, I will see you later.